For more on this year's World Breastfeeding Week, let's bring in the Chief of Nutrition, UNICEF Nigeria, Nemat Hajiboy, who joins us live via Zoom from Abuja. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. Let's begin from the basics. We've heard about breastfeeding. Help us understand better what exclusive breastfeeding means. Thank you very much for having me here today. Um, the World Health Organization talks about three numbers, and I'd like everybody to go away today with those three numbers, and that is one, six, and 24. This means that every baby born should be breastfed within the first hour of birth, that's the one, should be exclusively breastfed up to six months, and should continue to receive breast milk along with other foods up to the age of 24 months at least. When we say exclusively breastfed up to six months, we mean that baby should receive nothing but the mother's milk. No water, no food, no honey, no sugar water, no sodas, nothing. Just breast milk. That's all the baby needs for the first six months to grow well. That's quite interesting because, you know, on the streets you hear different people talk about, oh, the breast milk wouldn't be enough for the child. Try add some other thing to eat. Let's talk about the statistics released by the UNICEF and WHO that over 70 mm -hmm. percent of children in Nigeria are denied the benefits of breastfeeding. Uh, what do you think is responsible for this? So this is theme actually for breastfeeding, which says step up breastfeeding appropriately captures the causes or what needs to be done to actually support breastfeeding and that is it is the responsibility of all of us around the mother and child be it the uh, health worker be it a family member be it the community be it employers or the government we all need to support mothers to be able to breastfeed so to give you simple examples the rate is so low that is one out of, you know, only one out of three children is exclusively breastfed um, is it could be because health workers are unable to counsel mothers when they come to the health facility, what the meaning of exclusive breastfeeding is and how they can breastfeed appropriately and they feel that their milk may not be enough. Uh, it could be somebody in the family who tells the mother, oh, your child is crying, your milk is not good, your milk is not enough. Or so it may make the mother feel not so confident about her breastfeeding ability. Or it could be because when she goes to work, there is no place in her uh, employment or her office where she can safely go and express milk or breastfeed her child. Or it could be because of some policies that we have in place. So there are many, many reasons for why mothers don't feel or are not able, we, you know, we are all responsible to uh, what I would call protect and support mothers and babies to breastfeed. And there are many reasons. But one of the most important reasons in Nigeria that we've seen is that a, a lot of people believe it's very hot. And so they give their children water. So along with breast milk, I feel like I need to give my child a few drops of water because I'm thirsty. But I want everyone to know that breast milk has enough water to satisfy a child's thirst as well as hunger. So there is no need to give any water to the child for the first six months. Breast milk is sufficient. Over to you. All right. And having an entire week to sensitize people about the importance of uh, breastfeeding and especially exclusive breastfeeding, we hope will drive home that point. Thank you very much for joining us at this time. Nima Tadjiboy, Chief of Nutrition, UNICEF Nigeria. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. Thank you so much for having me.